We were never taught that America was bad and that we were not Americans. We were raised to love America. So that was a clip from the new documentary, quote, Uncle Tom 2, a follow-up from the 2020 documentary, which explored the black American population's treatment by the political class. So joining me now to discuss is the new film and cons is the new film conservative commentator, pro uh, producer and screenwriter for the show, Chad O. Jackson. Chad, welcome back to the program. Thank you. Always a pleasure. All right. So, you know, I, I actually looked through some of the 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 clips I could find about this, and it's shocking. Like, we all knew the civil rights era had had a serious amount of problems, but this highlights way more than I even knew. Absolutely. Uh, what Uncle Tom 2 does is it takes a look at this history that existed uh, with black Americans, a history rooted in entrepreneurship, prosperity, and patriotism is completely covered up, and we expose why that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's shocking. Uh, talk to us about why. Well, the thing is, uh, communism is an ideology that is antithetical to America. It's anti-individual, uh, anti-family, uh, anti-capitalism, anti-basically uh, the free market, all the things that made America a force to be reckoned with. Um, these are things that uh, were true of black America, were true of the Asian communities, were true of pretty much every ethnic group in here. Uh, the fact of the matter is our founding fathers have laid forth a country that created upward mobility for everybody in spite of, of, of their ethnicity. Uh, communism wanted to basically eradicate all of that and to uh, bring forth their own form of government. And the way that they sought to do that, particularly here in the United States, was to use black America. Um, in a very amiable way. And so what they did was they created organizations like the NAACP, which was created by a white socialist woman named Mary White Ovington. And they had their hands uh, all in the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. And what Uncle Tom too does bravely is it looks at that in a very objective and critical way. Um, and, and so in a way that few films have done before. Yeah. No, it is, you know, going back to history, I consider myself a student of it. And you yeah. look at like the, the first female millionaire in, in America was actually a black woman, Madam C.J. Walker, I believe. She was mm -hmm. selling cosmetic products. And this is stuff that was, I mean, she was, she had a rough go in order to get to where she was. And in the entire movement was about helping women better themselves into a professional capacity. Uh, you know, what, do you have any stories like that that stand out to you in this film? Yeah, so Mary White Ovington is one of many uh, in the black community who were that example of just a great American success story, uh, one of which is a man named Philip Payton Jr. He was a, a student of sorts of Booker T. Washington. Uh, he took Booker T. Washington's model of basically bettering yourself in spite of your circumstances. He took that and moved to Harlem in a time when Harlem was almost entirely white. And he bought a building there and began to buy it several other buildings. He started a, a company called the uh, Afro-American Realty Company, and he inspired other realtors to do the same thing. And uh, all of a sudden, a lot of black people mm -hmm. began to move to Harlem. And it wasn't, these weren't, you know, uh, poor people who were looking for a, a handout. These were people who were educated in the South, who, who brought with them skills, and they were determined to be successful, and many of them uh, were successful. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a shame that what ended up happening to Harlem is a result, once again, of the NAACP's uh, assumed leadership. They began to kind of change the mindset right. of the collective there in Harlem, and the rest is history. Uh, yeah. This film really talks about uh, basically how black America and America at large was on an incline due to people taking into uh, practice these these pro-American values, and once once again these Marxist individuals began to to really kind of insert themselves in all these different ways, you saw a sharp decline around about the 60s. Well, yeah, you, I mean, you mentioned that. There's also a number of statistics out there that show that, like, the civil rights movement, what it did to the the the, the black nuclear family, which was, mm -hmm. you know, you know, raised by two parents in the same household, it, it declined during the civil rights movement. Prior to that, you were right; it was on the incline, and they were becoming more prosperous. The, the black community was becoming more prosperous. So it's interesting take on all this stuff, Chad Jackson. I appreciate you being here. Uh, name of the film, where people can see it. Uncle Tom 2 uh, will be released on August 26th of this year. Uh, it will be streaming on UncleTom.com. Uh, Pre-sales have begun, I think, on Friday, so you can actually 
uh, purchase it early mm -hmm. and um, it's going to be a huge event and we're excited about it. All right, Chad, appreciate being here, sir. Thank you.